Welcome to Flores Mathematics. Today I will introduce a new chapter that is maxima and minima. So in this uh, class uh, I will introduce the what is maxima and minima and one example. So first of all we have to know that that what is maxima and minima. So in mathematical analysis the maxima and minima of a function that known collectively that is uh, both maxima and minima called extrema are the largest and the smallest value okay largest and or the smallest value uh, uh, so largest maxima is la largest value of a function and minima is a smallest value of a function okay and they known collectively as extrema okay so they known at maxima and minima so they they known as extrema now of a function either within a given range or in the entire domain right or in the entire domain so now if you uh, see the graph you can understand what is it so here a graph of y equals to f of x okay so if you see the graph that there is a uh, various point so in the smallest value so there are maximum and in the uh, largest value there are minimum okay sorry there are maximum the largest value and the minimum is the smallest value of a function okay so if you consider a graph in higher study you also know about the global maxima or global minima and local maxima local minima but in class 12 that's enough for your syllabus that what is maxima and what is minima so basically maxima is the largest value of the function and minima is the um, Sm sorry uh, minima is the smallest value of a function and maxima is the largest value of a function okay and uh, let's do an example right so if you take uh, you take a screenshot of this page okay now i move to the next page okay so here okay example so uh, our example given example is at which points y equals to f of x equals to x cube minus 6 x square minus 15 x plus 3 has maxima and minima and find the corresponding maxima value maximum value and the minimum value okay now there are require our require is um, at which point they are present maxima at which point they are present minima and find the corresponding maximum value and the minimum value okay so we have to find four things right now there is given the function that is y equals to f of x that is x cube minus 6x square minus 15x plus 3 right now first of all you have to derivative first order derivative and second order derivative okay basically maxima and minima is a application of derivative right and what is differentiation and how can we mm, mm, approach the derivative of any function that i have already covered uh, in english version okay so so first of all you have to derivative with respect to x that is here uh, see 3x square minus 2 into 6 into x that is 12x minus 15 right so that is first order derivative and if we derivative again that is second order derivative that is d square y divided by dx square is 3 into 2x that is 6x minus 12 and minus 15 is constant so the derivative of constant term is 0 right so first of all um, if there is a given function and you have to find its first order derivative and second order derivative okay now after that there is some consideration that is at extrema dy by dx equals to 0 right at at extrema dy by dx equals to 0 okay extrema that means at maxima or minima okay in both at extrema dy by dx equals to 0 now what is our dy by dx that is 3x square minus 12x minus 15 equals to 0 so that is a quadratic equation right so uh, if you solve this quadratic equation then you can find that there is two value of values of x that is one is 5 and another is minus 1 right now if you after getting these two values okay by solving quadratic equation so you put the uh, each value in the second order derivative so our second order derivative d square y divided by dx square is 
six x minus twelve. So first we put x equals to five in the second order derivative. That is six into five minus twelve. So thirty minus twelve. That is eighteen. Okay. Now you have to see that the which value you take here or which value you find here that is either equals to zero or greater than zero or less than zero. Okay. So if the value the given value or the required value okay which you find from the dy square by dx square at the value of x so that value if that value is greater than 0 then we conclude that that at that point that means at x equals to a or here x equals to 5 so y has minima okay so if the value is greater than 0 then we conclude that we may conclude that at that point y or f of x or function has minima okay and what is the corresponding minimum value that is you put that point x equals to 5 here so that point in the main equation okay so our main equation that is y equals to x cube minus 6 x square minus 15 x plus 3 so we put here x equals to 5 right then 5 cube minus 6 into 5 square minus 15 into 5 plus 3 that is minus 97 so minus 97 is the corresponding minimum value and at point x equals to 5 y has minima okay y has minima now similarly uh, we we have to find the corresponding maximum value and we find out the point at which y has maxima okay y has maxima now here similarly we put the value uh, of x equals to minus 1 see x equals to minus 1 at d square y divided by dx square so we find here minus 18 okay so 6 into minus 1 minus 12 that is minus 6 minus 12 equals to minus 8 that is less than 0 okay that is less than 0 now if the value is less than 0 then we may conclude that at that point y has maxima okay y has maxima so if the value is greater than 0 then we uh, conclude that y has minima and if the value is less than 0 then we may conclude that y has maxima so here we find the value minus 18 that is less than 0 so at x equals to minus 1 y has maxima okay and similarly corresponding maximum value we put the value of x at the given equation that is x cube that is minus 1 cube minus 6 into minus 1 whole square minus 15 into minus 1 plus 3 so we find the uh, value that is 11 so corresponding maximum value is 11 and at x equals to minus 1 point y has maxima okay so I hope as far as I said what is maxima what is minima and how can we find the maximum value and minimum value and at which point they are uh, present maxima and minima I hope you all are getting my point so that's all for today uh, see you and take care.